Hi, I'm Lana Popham. I've been the MLA for Saanich South for the last four years, and I represent the New Democrats. Before becoming your MLA, I was known as a business person, a farmer, a mom, and a community activist, working on issues of food security and our environment. Some knew me as the bag lady, as I championed reusable grocery bags in our region with my Think Outside the Bag campaign. I believe that to represent a community as an MLA, one should have deep roots in the community. After completing my degree at the University of British Columbia in 1992, I moved to the island and began embracing our community at many levels. I had a passion for agriculture and small business and found areas to apply my energy. I sat on the Planning, Transportation and Economic Development Committee with the Municipality of Saanich. I was a commissioner with the Peninsula Agricultural Commission the president of the Vancouver Island Grape Growers and the certification chair of the Island Organic Producers Association. That's the certification body that assigns organic certification to island farms. While doing this, I also ran my own certified organic vineyard, Barking Dog Vineyard, and established a winery on site. I created a vineyard management business in which I taught and trained employees techniques of cool climate viticulture. In my spare time, I volunteered in my son's school and gave talks on garbage-free lunches throughout the school district. With this, I was committed to raising awareness of recycling and the connection to garbage and the lifespan of the Heartland Landfill, which is situated in rural Saanich. I was thrown into the world of provincial politics when I stood up for our rural community against BC assessment when they tried to chop up our farms for tax purposes without consultation. After months of community organization, Saanich as a community sent a strong message to the provincial government. I realized that making change was difficult from the outside, and so my journey to become an MLA was launched. Once elected in 2009, I brought my community passion to the job. For example, I pressed hard for safety changes at Sayward Road and the Pat Bay Highway. For well over a decade, the government had ignored this dangerous intersection. With the community behind me, success was achieved and we're now seeing safety improvements underway. In this election, we have a choice. More of the same or change for the better. Change for the better means being upfront and open about our intentions. An example of this is our stance on the Enbridge pipeline, Kinder Morgan, and increased oil tanker traffic along our coast. Some things just aren't worth the risk. It means saying what we're gonna do and how we're going to pay for it. For example, at the beginning of the campaign, we laid out our fiscal plan in detail. We showed the new sources of revenue that we would use to pay for our commitments. We proposed modest tax increases for banks, profitable corporations, and the top 2% of income earners and major industrial polluters. Everything is accounted for. Our spending commitments are in balance with our revenue measures, so our spending will not add a penny to the Liberal deficit. The choice has never been more clear. More of the same, say one thing, do another, approach to politics, or a new government with new ideas that treats voters with respect. A government that's upfront and open with its plans. That's change for the better. I'm asking for your vote on May 14th so I can continue using my energy to get things done for our community.